What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And for those of you who are new, don't forget to subscribe down below if you do enjoy today's video, guys. Uh, now, before we get into the whole install, you guys already saw the uh, title and thumbnail. We're going to be installing Brembo's on the M5 today. Uh, well, Brembo brake pads. But anyways, before we get into that, there's a lot I can say, guys. But uh, to keep it short, I just want to say uh, sorry for the delay in videos recently. I think I've been off for like almost a month. Um, and that's due to, um, I don't know if I can really say this in the videos because I heard you get demonetized or whatever. But uh, we did all get sick because you guys know why uh, so I've been quarantined and um, yeah I finally came back negative and I'm still fully recovering you guys might even be able to hear it in my voice uh, but yeah I finally came back negative so I'm good to go out already and stuff um, but yeah that's the reason why there hasn't been videos in almost a month already guys and um, I just want to apologize for that real quick during my quarantine we hit 4,000 subscribers guys and I just want to say I'm so so thankful for you guys we started off the year strong uh, we hit 4,000 subscribers I'm trying to push harder this year more than I have ever on YouTube even though I've only been like a year and a half or so uh, but I'm trying to push hard this year guys 2021 I want to make this my year I told you guys that last year was the best year of my life so far and um, we're gonna top it off this year guys but yeah guys I just want to say that real quick I really 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 appreciate all the support guys you guys have been killing it and if you guys saw my previous video you guys will know uh, we are no longer in line motorsports um, we will always be in line motorsports that will always be our thing but we have officially changed the name of the channel to Anthony Ulloa. I think that just is better for, um, you know, the future of the channel. Um, it's not so much on inline. And, like, obviously, I don't even have an inline card anymore. The reason we started inline motorsports was because me and my brother both had inline 6. Um, I had the F10 535. He still has his E92 335i, as well as um, other cars. But, yeah, guys, I just feel like Anthony Ulloa just opens uh, more opportunities for the channel. Uh, different types of videos. I'm not gonna go out and do like challenges videos and all that stuff, but like different types of videos in the car scene. Um, and yeah, I think it will be better for the future, guys. And I think a lot of you guys actually accepted it. So I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I really appreciate all the support once again. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, let's just kill it this year, guys. With all that being said, let's just go ahead and get straight into the install. So as you guys can see right here, we went with Brembo brake pads. Um, I tried finding out which brake pads were the best for this car, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys know if you post something in the Facebook forums, people will just clown on you and nobody really helps. So uh, I went with Brembo brake pads just because, I mean, it's Brembo. You can't really go wrong with Brembo. Uh, but yeah, this is the rears. This is the fronts. Uh, for somebody who commented on my channel saying that the backs were way bigger than the fronts, here you go. This is the back. This is the fronts. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and swap these out. And um, we got the screws for the back. For the sensors, guys, I was going to order them on FCP, but uh, the shipping was like a week and a half, two weeks, and I didn't want to wait that long. So I'm going to be your guys' guinea pig. I ordered these on Amazon. I'm going to try them out. I think they were like 20 bucks cheaper, but the main reason I got them was because they arrived like in two, three days. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try these out. If they don't work, I'll let you guys know. If they do, um, if they work good and everything, I'll go ahead and link them in the description below. Again, it'll be totally up to you guys. You can still order them off FCP or whatever you guys want to order them off. Uh, these were off Amazon. And yeah. Here we have the M5, guys. Oh, I feel so bad for this car. I haven't... Oh, i barely driven it in the past three weeks. Three, almost four weeks. Uh, you guys can see, like, how dirty it is. And then it's been raining. So, you guys can see. Oh, so, so dirty. But anyways, um, yeah, you guys can see the M5 right here. Um... We're gonna start off with the fronts, and then I'm gonna show you guys the backs, and then I'm gonna do the other side off camera. Um, and then yeah, should be pretty easy guys. It shouldn't be hard at all. Uh, but yeah, I also have a few other mods coming soon, so stay tuned for the channel guys. Um, I got some stuff coming for the M5. That should be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So first off, I'm gonna try to loosen all the uh, lug bolts before I actually uh, raise the car. So I'm just gonna loosen them, but I'm not gonna take them off or anything. Uh, I'm gonna loosen them and then just leave them like barely tight. All right, so we got the car lifted. Uh, now I'm gonna just go ahead and take off all the bolts and take off the wheel. <laughs> now, as you guys can see, here we have the actual rotor, brake caliper, um, and yeah. So basically, what we have to do is take off these pins right here. And this one right here, as you guys can see. And then we should have to take off uh, this nut. That's right here. And that should allow us to actually take off the brake caliper and replace the brake pads. 
Um, again, I've never done this before, guys. This is my first time. I'm learning with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and do this. If anything goes wrong, you guys know not to do that, whatever I did. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and try it. All right, guys, so I'm using a little, like, um, what is this, a Torx thing? But it fits nice there. And then a hammer to actually uh, push it. Try to push it out. So we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully we don't actually hit. Actually, it looks like somebody already tried to do this, and they actually hit the caliper a little bit. Wow. Okay, we're gonna try our best not to hit the caliper. Ooh, there it goes, guys. Ooh, there it's going. All right, one's out. Almost. Ha, <laughs> one's out, guys. Okay, now we're gonna do the second one. There it was going, guys. Nice. Both out. Okay, that was way easier than I thought, to be honest. But anyways, not those out. I think there's this nut, and there's actually another one down here. Right where I'm pointing, right here. Same exact one. So let me see what size it is, and then we'll go ahead and take it off. Alright, guys, so it's going to be a size uh, 14 for these two nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off real quick. Alright, guys, so both nuts are off now as well as both pins. Now technically this should just slide off, but we'll see right now. I'm gonna need to compress it a little bit because obviously it's still kind of tight on there, so. Let me see if I can get a flathead and try to like compress it a little bit. There it goes. There it go. One there it go. Nice. Doing the most, bro. You could just from the beginning. All right, guys. So we finally got it off. Basically, uh, what I had to do is actually take these off of um, their place because uh, since they were on there, it wasn't giving it enough space for the actual caliper to come out. Um, so yeah, just take it out of this place. I don't know if you guys see that real good, but I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, yeah, just take these off, and then the whole caliper comes out. Take off the brake pads. You guys can see the brake pads right here. They're pretty worn. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put on the new ones right now. I uh, just gotta compress this first, somehow. Alright, okay, so we took off the brake pads, and these, damn, these have way more brake pad on it. I'm gonna go ahead and install these real quick. Alright, okay, so I'm just gonna lube, is this the lube the contact points? I don't really know exactly where the contact points would be, so I'm just gonna lube the actual brake pad, um, certain spots, um, and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, time to put it on, see how it goes. Oh, guys, we got it on. Damn, I'm super dirty now. I'm gonna put the nuts back on, guys. Hold it in place. Working reverse order now. All right, guys, so first of all, to actually take off the caliper, I needed to remove these things from their grommets. This one as well. That one goes right here. Right here. Um, I have to remove it to actually have give it enough like leverage to take the actual caliper off because it was holding it on pretty tight. Uh, now what we have to do is um, we have to push this brake pad and the other one back because there's a little pin right here that pushes pushes it forward this pin right here pushes it forward so what I have to do is push it back and if you guys look closely in this hole it'll align so the actual um, pins can go back in so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm first I'm gonna do the back one I'm gonna push the back one in and then put the pin in from the back uh, this first one and then I'm going to push this one in and then push the pin all the way back in. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do right now, guys. I'll probably maybe record it or something. I don't know. I don't want to make the video too long. But, yeah, I just want to show you guys real quick. All right, guys. So, as you can tell, we put the brake pads back in. Uh, this was actually pretty easy. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like this one was easier than, uh, for example, the back ones. Even though the backs aren't even hard. It's just easier. Especially because you don't have to compress the pistons at all. I didn't know that. Uh, this is my first time owning a car with even, like, big brakes. To begin with um but yeah it also looks pretty cool if you guys look at it you guys can see the the red brake pads right there nice 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 finally we have new brake pads you guys can see what these look like right here and what these look like right here this is what i used to have this is what i have now this is what i used to have this is you versus the guy she told you not to worry about 
<laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, I'm going to go to the back ones real quick. I'm gonna, oh, actually, I'm going to put the wheel back on. I'm not going to show you guys all that. I don't think you guys really want to see that. But I'm going to put the wheel back on. Um, put everything back on here. Lower the car, raise the back, and show you guys how to do the back. All right, guys. I just remembered that we have to replace the actual brake pad wear sensor. So I took it off of the brake pad before we started. It was in here. I took it off. Um, I also took it off of this. All right, so it was sitting in here. Uh, but I took it off of there. Now I have to take it off of this thing right here. It's just sitting in there. Just have to like maneuver it around. And then over here, I have to take it off of this thing right here. Up here, I have to take it off of this thing right here. Just take it off of this little clip right here. And then I'm going to open this box. I'll show you guys when I actually get to this box. And then I'm going to um, unclip it. And put the new one back on and yeah it shouldn't be too hard all right guys so i took it off of all the spots that i told you guys about now if you go up here i can probably take this off with my nail there you go or you can use like a little flathead or a pick tool to open it open it up and then you can probably pull it off from the bottom pull it off from the top okay cool now uh as you guys can see there's a clip right here now if you hold you press down on this clip and then pull them apart it should come apart let me try to do that real quick Oh, perfect. So it came off super easy. Now I just gotta take this off. Grab the new sensor, which I don't have it with me, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Plug it in, and then route everything back around where it was, and then put it back onto the brake pad. I'll probably show you guys when I actually put it back on over here. Um, but yeah, besides that, that's all you had to do. Alright guys, so I got it all routed out. Uh, it might be a little longer than the original one, but um, yeah, everything routed, connected, everything over here. Now over here I have the actual connection. And if you guys come down here, hopefully you guys can see this pretty good. There you go. Um, this right here is where the actual brake sensor goes. The one that has the little sensor thing, the little sensor hole, goes on um, towards the passenger side of the car. Because that's how far it reaches. It won't reach all the way over here. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and put that in right there. I'm going to do it off camera just because I don't want to mess up. Um, but I just put it there and... That should finish everything else. All right, guys. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Um, to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the actual brake pad wear sensor. You can see right here. I'm gonna take it off over here where it's at, and then take it off all the way around just to get it out of the way for now. And then after that, you're gonna want to take off these two bolts. This one right here, and then the same one on the bottom side right here. I'm gonna take those two off. Um, I'll let you guys know what size they are, um, and then I'll let you guys know what to do after that. All right, guys. Real quick, what I had to do. Um, I don't remember this happening to any other, uh, like, brake pads similar to this that I've changed. Or, yeah, brake pads. Um, but basically, when you're taking off this bolt, you have to hold on to this little... Let me see if I can focus it. You have to hold on to this little, like, thing that looks like a nut. Um, you have to hold on to this, because if not, it'll just spin together, and the bolt, which is this one, will never come off. Um, so yeah, just hold on to this, and then hold on to the bolt. I mean, hold on to this, take out the bolt. And then as far as uh, this, just go ahead and compress the brakes a little bit just so you can have enough uh, room to actually come off. And then after that, I'll take off the brake pads. Um, this is the electronic parking brake. There's a way to do it manually, but I just found a new way to do it with Beamer Link. I've never tried it before, but it says, this is basically what it says it does. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. Hopefully I can do it like, automatically. I have to open it up and stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and try it and let you guys know how that works. Um, but yeah, right now I'm going to go ahead and compress this, take it off, and then... We'll do this after. All right, I guess we don't have to compress the brakes. Um, I didn't know about that. Anyways, the actual brake pads are super easy to take off. So we can need to compress this. But we need to do this first. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and try this out. Basically, parking brake right here. Parking brake service mode. We're placing the brake pads in the rear. Activate service mode. Activate service mode. Activating. <laughs> and could not be activated. All right, I'm pretty sure this worked. Um, maybe the only reason this thing's not working is because the other side is actually still on. But this side worked for sure. Yeah, so now I'm gonna try to compress it. And if it compresses easily, that means it did work. If it's not compressing easily, I'm gonna go ahead and just open it manually and uh, do it myself. But yeah, I'll go and show you guys right now. All right, it's compressing like really, really easily. I'm barely putting any force into it. So I'm pretty sure it did work. Like I said, it, maybe it shows that it didn't work because the other side is actually still on the car. 
or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, this is for sure compressed already. I mean, this for sure worked, um, which is a lot quicker than doing it manually because you have to actually take apart the whole like actual parking brake. Um, so yeah, let me just lube it real quick, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. There's one brake pad that has a little like insert for the brake sensor. I don't know if you guys can see that real good. Let me show you guys the difference. Here's this one, and here's this one. You can see the difference of right here. You can see what that one looks like and what this one looks like. The one with the little brake pad sensor thing is gonna go on the inner side. Um, and then the other one's gonna go on the other side, with, like with the wheel, if that makes any sense. So yeah, just go ahead and put these on. Now if we go ahead and put this back on, what we can do at this point is actually put the bolts back on. But um, I'm not too sure exactly what every company does. Rambo went ahead and sent me new bolts for this with Loctite, it looks like, already on there. So I'm going to put this on. Alright guys, everything's back on. I just need to put the sensor back on. I'm not going to show you guys that part because I already showed you how to do it in the front. But if you guys look here, you can see all that movement right there. If I actually go to the car... Actually, first I need to deactivate service mode for the brakes. Deactivate service mode. Service mode deactivated. So deactivate service mode on the Beamer Link app. Now if you actually go to the car and press on the brake a few times until you feel it getting compressed. Now if we go back here, it should be good now. Let's try it out. No movement at all. Nice, guys. Okay, so this is pretty much all done. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the sensor back on. Do everything else off camera, because there's no point in showing you guys again. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna do this all this real quick, guys, and then I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. Just in case I haven't mentioned it, guys, these back bolts right here on the rear brake pads are gonna be 13. All right, guys, so now that we're in the car, put you on the car, you guys can see brake system right here because of the rear brake pads. All right, guys, so you guys saw, it showed the brake light. What you wanna do is the button right here, right under your instrument cluster, you just wanna hold it down. Um, and then just keep holding it, don't let go until you get this. Once you get here, let go of the button. Now what you want to do is, okay, rear brake pads, this is reset possible. Go ahead and hold it again until it shows reset, let go, and hold it again. Once it shows reset in progress, you can go ahead and let it go. And it should reset. If you try resetting this without replacing the sensor, it won't work. Okay, there you go, it reset. Now go ahead and just press it once, and you'll cycle through everything. You guys can see front brake pads, engine oil, vehicle check, brake fluid, everything right here. So rear, front brake pads. I'm going to reset these as well because I replaced the sensor and the pads. I can hold it down, let go, reset in progress, and it should reset. Reset successful. So now we can just, you can let go of this, just leave it. You don't have to exit out of it or anything. Now if you go over here to menu, vehicle info, vehicle status, check control. There's no more brake pads. Uh, don't worry about this. It's because I had the car on when I was doing the brake pad uh, replacements to do the electric parking brake. But if we go to service required, engine oil is good, vehicle check is good, brake fluid, rear brake pads 18,000, front brake pads 29,000. So now everything is up to date. I have no more brake uh, light on my instrument cluster and everything is good. Just want to show you guys this real quick because a lot of people don't know about this. Maybe they'll replace their own brake pads, but then they'll go somewhere to have them reset the lights. When you can actually just do it yourself from home and you don't need anything at all. All right, guys, it is the next day. Uh, it did get kind of late yesterday with the whole like uh, daylight saving time thing. Uh, it gets early like at five. So uh, I did switch the brakes though. I did see all of them, both fronts, both rears. Uh, it was super easy doing the rears with uh, the Beamer Link thing. Um, I'll go ahead and link a uh, uh, adapter down below in the description for you guys to use that as well as uh, the app that I used. Um, most of the links in the description, guys, are affiliate, so in case you guys want to help out the channel. But uh, yeah, you guys can actually see the Brembo brakes from the outside. You guys can see a little bit of red right there. Um, you guys can see I'm missing a lug right here on that one as well. We'll be taking care of that soon. But uh, yeah, just want to show you guys. You guys can see the Brembo's in the rear as well. You can actually see it more since it's open. Looks kind of weird with the red and blue. Like a Spider-Man theme, but um, yeah. I haven't yet tested out the Brembo's, but uh, we'll see how they look. Uh, also, don't worry about the car, guys. Uh, like I said, I was quarantined for 
like three weeks actually uh because the whole family got sick um but yeah you can see the red on here as well and a little bit on here as well we'll go ahead and take care of all this soon you can see how dirty these wheels are anyways guys hopefully you guys uh enjoyed the install video hopefully it helped out some of you guys who want to actually take on this job by yourself because I know it can be a little expensive having to pay somebody else. I think I paid maybe like 170 for the actual brakes and labor was free. So I did see a couple people on the forums paying like 1500 bucks just to get your brakes changed and that's a little too much in my opinion. But yeah guys, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Let me know in the description what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, again, thank you to everybody for 4,000 subscribers um, and yeah. Anyways guys, with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.